in the pink Ferrari, he's feeling out. I don't say it, but the wrong did it out. This is so good, baby, chilling out. They'll be yelling, yelling, ye yelling. It's Bobby B, it's Jason Chilling Down. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know why am I so fucking happy today. This literally never happens. Um, I'm always like it's my birthday tradition for years and years to cry on my birthday. I haven't cried yet. It's 1.30 right now. Okay, this is <laughs> this is really bad. I don't remember crying this much on Okay, well, there was this one birthday. But like what the fuck? <laughs> This is a lot. This is... <laughs> what is happening? So things are looking good. I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. I don't really have any plans for today. I'm not a, like a clubbing, partying person. I actually am not even a birthday person to be very honest. So growing up, I obviously loved my birthdays. Like I looked forward to my birthday like anything. I used to be very excited for my birthdays because my mom used to throw such, such wholesome, grand birthdays for me. Mom's side of family, dad's side of family. Everyone used to come. We used to celebrate either at home, but there was like full decoration. My mom used to prepare such amazing food and obviously there was cake and there were all these things like there was music playing all the time Kids just running around like my parties were very lit to this day My cousins are always like please celebrate your birthday like that so we can get return gifts because my mom used to give Amazing party favors. Should I be explaining the products that I'm using? I kind of don't give a fuck whatever I love this by the way. I cannot recommend it enough. Laneige lip mask. It is the best lip balm I've ever tried in my life. And I've tried quite a few. Anyway, so as I was saying, my birthday parties as a kid were very, very happening. I was obsessed with my birthday and everything was amazing. And then as I started growing up, uh, my birthdays involved more of my friends and less of my like full family obviously my immediate family my mom dad and brother were always there i used to just take my friends to a cafe or a restaurant and just celebrate that way okay gradually i just started hating my birthdays i don't remember when did it happen maybe ever since i turned 16 like my 16th birthday i think i don't even remember like I have, I think, just blogged out my teenage years, to be very honest. Like, I don't remember half of my life. I'm not kidding. I just do not have memories of half of my life. Everyone talks about childhood trauma. I have had teenage years trauma. My teenage was not. My teenage was not it. I've obviously had some amazing time, but at the same time, it was so traumatic that I've just blogged out a lot of it most of it actually anyway so then i started hating my birthdays and i just dreaded my birthdays like i just wanted to be left alone i used to cry i used to just like lay on the floor or look at myself in the mirror and just cry um like my birthdays were really bad okay and my friends used to throw surprise parties for me at my room like decorating my room and everything and i always knew they were there i used to pretend like i didn't know but i always knew it was just not fun anymore nothing felt good about it i stopped buying birthday dresses like that was the lowest low of my life because if there's one thing in the world that i want no matter what mood i'm in that's chocolate slash ice cream and clothes these are two things i will never say no to and the day i say no to either of them you need to know something unrecoverably traumatic has happened in my life so until last year i had the same tradition i was just crying on my birthdays nothing was good nothing was right um no birthday dresses no parties at all um no celebration whatsoever my friends also honestly did not give a fuck about my birthdays um so you know like no one really cared or at least that's what it felt like to me i felt like no one gave a shit i felt very underappreciated very unloved very 
unacknowledged to be very honest like i used to feel like people don't even acknowledge my presence why am i just talking about my trauma but it was like really bad okay but actually last year to be very honest i think i was like trying too hard to be sad there wasn't necessarily anything good going on in my life i wasn't like happy i was definitely depressed but i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know what it was about last year but something was off i feel like i was trying too hard to not feel good about myself and it sounds very weird because it's like why the fuck would you want to do that but now looking back i think that's what i was doing like i was trying too hard to be sad on my birthday almost as like a reflex because that's what i've done all these years like a muscle memory you know this year however i don't give a flying fuck i'm here since 5 it's 9 pm this is really bad i don't know if i've mentioned this on youtube but i've always loved vlogging or like recording myself is what i used to call it when i didn't even know vlogging was a term i've always taken pictures and videos of myself mostly videos i don't like taking pictures of myself too much um but i've always enjoyed taking videos of myself and i have this snapchat diary literally every single day for years i think for four or five years i have been um not four or five i think three or four years i have been recording myself i just start recording and i like slide it to the left to like lock the video and i just speak okay and i just talk about my day talk about my feelings so i was looking back at those memories today and i was just genuinely so miserable on my birthdays i'm just bawling my eyes out and i feel so bad i feel so sad for past amya looking at her because i'm like oh, what the fuck is she she so sad about and i was just talking about the same things like i don't feel loved i don't feel appreciated no one gives a fuck uh, nothing is sincere all the happy birthday messages i'm getting are not sincere i can feel it i can feel the energy of people and no one gives a fuck and it's just very pretentious it's just very oh it's her birthday so let me just wish her you know i've never really felt special or like loved loved in that way you know it was i think 2 or 3 am or 4 am and i was talking about how there were like three or four people that had wished me and uh when we were kids especially this was a thing that right when it strikes 12 so at 11:30 or 11:40 your best friends going to call you to keep you busy until 10 20 minutes until it's your birthday and she's going to be the first one or they're going to be the first one to wish you you know and then we started growing up and my best friend stopped calling me at 11:30 at 11:40 at 11:50 at 12 at 1 she just stopped calling me you know and the calls the wishes started getting very very less and so i'm sitting on my bed at 4 am and i'm like oh my god only four people have wished me this is miserable like no one gives a fuck about me and my birthday and this is like really really bad and that was one factor that i was crying about that no one really gives a shit and now i'm like i still got how many wishes let me tell you my mom and dad wished me uh when it was 12 in india while i was talking to them my ex wished me and and then one of my friends from here her name is anisha she's really sweet she wished me she sent me a paragraph i was not expecting that that was very very sweet i think that was it i don't remember anyone else wishing me during night oh my brother wished me and my cousin my cousin sister samriddhi she wished me and that was it obviously i had that in my mind that okay like four people wished me again it's the same like no one really cares but at the same time i was like i don't give a fuck dude never fucking mind Oh my god. I don't give a fuck who's wishing me and who's not. I spent my birthday eve eating Ben and Jerry's ice cream, which is good by the way. It's really good. I had it very overhyped in my mind. And so I was like I don't know what was I expecting out of it. I thought it was going to be like the best thing I'll ever eat in my life. And it wasn't the best thing that I've ever eaten in my life, but it's really 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 good. It's really really good. So anyways, I just spent my birthday eve uh eating Ben and Jerry's ice cream and watching Bon Voyage, which is BTS content. So I 
was having the fucking time of my life bro time of my life i'm not kidding i was so happy i was just laughing out loud having the time of my life today is the first day i'm like dancing around in my room jamming to songs fully i used to do this a lot back at home i think i'm also incorporated that bit in one of my videos like i do dance parties and like singing parties a lot i used to just start dancing around singing around in my room i hadn't done that here until now for whatever reason and today i just felt like it and i'm just having such a fucking good time my dress is black i'm dressing up today i got my birthday dress from india and i am also going to wear my ck coat over it that i thrifted or like i bought it from a vintage store i don't know if it's thrifting or like buying vintage clothing but whatever you want to call it i have two of these palettes as well that i've never used ever since i've come here because why the fuck would i use these colors you know i think i'll go with this one can you even see it properly <gasps> what the fuck no oh this just comes out i guess and you can like yes oh okay i was fucking terrified if anything happened i love this palette if anything happened to it i would cry this yellowy very nice shimmery shade it's called serene i'm going to start with my brown only so yeah if you're a sad birthday girly like i used to be or i don't know if i still am but i would like to say i used to be know that it'll get better and also i think sometimes we do subconsciously try to deliberately be sad on our birthdays i've kind of seen it in people you know what i mean obviously i have experienced that as well i told you last year i think that's what i was doing um but i've also seen other people go through something like this so i think i'd say just don't beat yourself up about it like own what you're feeling feel how you feel you're not supposed to be sad on your birthday you're not supposed to have the best time of your life on your birthday you know it's not always going to be the most happening day of your life it also doesn't have to be the saddest day of your life you know what i mean i don't know if that makes sense to you but yeah as much as i don't give too much importance to my birthday i'm i also don't want to be a oh fuck my birthday like i don't give a fuck about my birthday i would like to celebrate the day i was born i'm not good with dealing with the fact that i'm like getting old not in the sense i'm getting old i'm fucking 21 okay how the fuck am i 21 that's what I, that's what i think about how the fuck am i 21 look at my fucking face like i don't feel 21 not in the sense that my brain is not like you know not in like not in sense of maturity and knowledge but more in the sense of i don't know in what sense really but I just feel 19 pro like I don't maybe when I turn 24 I'm going to finally accept that I'm 21 you know is that too much <laughs> I will always be a bottom lash person I think I know there's this trend of only doing your upper lashes I always try to do my upper lashes and keep it at that but I literally I cannot do that like I need to also put mascara on my bottom lash i don't know what is it i think it's really important to experience that independence in your life at least for some time you know at least once in your life i'm not saying get out of your fucking house and leave your family and just go and relocate yourself in another country for the rest of your life i'm not saying that but for even a short period of time in your life I think it's really really important to feel independent. I think it makes you connect with yourself in a whole another level, like in a very deeper level. You get to understand yourself better, like what you're capable of, how far can you go by yourself? How are you at buying groceries by yourself? How are you at crossing roads by yourself? My mom was so proud of me i am so proud of myself i couldn't cross a fucking gully when i was in india like i could not do it i was so scared and i have always kind of wanted to die you know but i have always also been very scared of dying in a terrible traumatic way like i just want to 
pass away while I'm sleeping. That's my goal in life. Like I'm not kidding. I don't want to get fucking hit by a vehicle and die on the road. First of all, for everyone to see. I might look fucking stupid just lying around like that. I don't know how am I going to look. Like, uh, you know, it, it's the kind of things you think about, okay? Do I want to look fucking stupid just lying on the road the last time someone sees me? Like, no. I'm not saying I want to be dressed up and looking very cute, but like, and my God, I am terrified. I, I used to get so many dreams of dying by a tsunami like water comes right in front of my eyes and i know i'm gonna die and that's when i wake up every day i've had so many such dreams i feel like in my previous life i might have died drowning in water which is why i'm like really really scared of water especially the ocean i'm really scared i love going to the beach but that's where it's at for me like i don't want to get in the water i might be at the shore side, I might like do chup chup in the water for a while, but not more than that. Like I, I do not like the ocean. It makes me very, very uncomfortable. I don't want to die in a natural calamity, you know, like earthquake, tsunami and shit like that. Like I don't want to die like that with everyone. Like the whole world is ending. I am terrified of dying like that. I just want to pass away in my sleep quietly, nicely, so that even other people that are alive, that care about me do not have that trauma of me dying in a very terrible way, you know? Like I went through what I went through physically and I died, okay? Like I don't care if I died in a very traumatic way, but for my family, for the people close to me to see me dead like that, that is what really scares me. So like, I don't want them to go through that trauma. Like I'm already fucking dead, you know? I don't want them to see me in a very, terrible state why am i talking about all these things on my fucking birthday like i don't care but what was i talking about Where, how did we get here what happened i'm i'm doing a full face of makeup i think the first time ever since i've come here it's been long i enjoy doing makeup a lot like i've always loved doing makeup i think i will make a everyday slash uni makeup routine video if you're interested in seeing that and by you i mean cushy and my mom so let me know guys if you want to see that okay i think i'm done right like i just need to do blush and my lips i love super dewy by makeup revolution blushes oh that's a fucking lot bro yeah I love that song, it's so catchy and especially the contrast between I don't know who the singer is, fuck I'm sorry but him being so like hood and so fuck you mean, you know, woman and we're calling me slur and you know and then there's like a little yeah <laughs> so, like yeah that is so fucking cute, I love that contrast, I love that song this is my biggest fucking dilemma, I don't know what lipstick to go for no, this is like pinkish, reddish. I don't like this. Ooh, I like this. I think it looks good. Okay, I think that is my birthday makeup look all complete. Living for this amazing sleigh. Get it? What the fuck am I saying? I'm 21. I shouldn't be behaving this way. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not fucking 21, okay? I'm a teenage girl who loves to say Gen Z words and Gen Z slangs and talk about stupid shit and deep trauma. I always just want to be a teenage girl. I love teenage girl. Not me being a teenage girl. My teenage was traumatic. But I love the essence, the personality, the... I love a teenage girl, you know what I mean? We'll show you my final look when I'm dressed. This is true transition, okay. This is the final look. is H&M, my shoes are H&M, 
socks my dad got for me. I don't remember where he got it from. Coat is Calvin Klein. Dress is a bag. Look at how fucking pretty. Earrings are also H&M rings. Why do I fucking buy so much shit from H&M? My rings are also from H&M. And that's my birthday fit. Why is my hand shaking so much? Okay. Bye, guys. That was it for the video. I'll see you soon. I'm 21. What the hell?